What's up guys, Heeking here, bringing you a video regarding Boruto, some Boruto news. Before I get started, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, let's uh, get into this unexpected news. Alright guys, so, Boruto apparently is coming back in August, and apparently uh, part 1 is over. So, um, the release of volume, I believe, uh, 20 was it? Uh, I'm going to have to check this and see how many volumes were on now, actually. But apparently the release of volume 2, uh, or, or it's about to be released, and the magazine has stated that this was the end of part 1. So, part 1 is over now. And we're going into the time skip with volume 21, I believe. Uh, let me just double check how many volumes we've actually had. Um, because this was unexpected. Yeah, we've had 20 volumes, 80 chapters. Volume 20 contains five chapters. So I think I did I think I think did mention this at one... Uh, at, did I mention this at someone? Did I, did I even do a video on this? I don't even remember if I did a video on this. But uh, I remember, I remember thinking about it. Like, if 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 they did release chapter eighty with volume twenty, then yeah, that would mean that part one is over. Like, and they are doing a time skip uh, with the next volume, and that is the case. That is the case. Uh, chapter eighty marks the end of part one of Boruto, and we're going into part two in August when the manga returns with volume twenty one, which is unfortunately very rushed. Okay, let me explain this. The, the story ended, and spoiler alert for those of you who don't read the manga, the story ended with a Boruto, with Sasuke saving Boruto's life and, and believing Sarada after she awoke in her Mongyuken Sharingan, I believe, and escaping the village. And, and then that's it. It just ends with this big, like, yeah, Code is getting ready to... Well, he's going after Boruto now because he, 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 cause he's forgotten about Kawaki. Like, he, because he thinks Boruto is the one that... You know, did all those things, etc., etc., because their roles have been swapped now, you know, with Kaki and Boruto. So, uh, yeah, we don't really get the reactions of any of the other characters. I assumed that we would get at least one more volume with maybe Konoha Village sending, like, their best forces out to get them. But, no, that's not happening. Bar Boruto escaped with Sasuke, and then we're going to go straight into the time skip with Volume 21. Uh, which is a bit weird, and like I said, Rush, because... Um, because now when Volume 21 releases, it's going to have to catch us up on... And we don't even know how many years it'll be as well. Like, we don't know how many years it will have passed. But when we when we get back to it, when we get to Volume 21, it has to catch us up on everything that's happened in between those events in a very quick way. And uh, I imagine the first volume, or maybe the first two volumes, are going to deal with that. Because uh, you have to keep in mind, uh, uh, the original writer for Boruto said that he wanted the, you know the story to end with 30 volumes it's very likely they still want to end this with with 30 volumes which means that there are only 10 volumes left and in terms of total chapters i remember i made a calculation with this let me let me see if i can get it up uh, you guys are gonna love this uh because <laughs> i even i even calculated the possibility that uh chapter 80 would be the end so let's see let's see if i actually did that um Alright, so I was talking about Boruto, guys, in terms of, you know, where it's going to start, where it's going to end. So, chapter 80 is confirmed to be part of volume 20. And volume 21 will come out in August this year. And um, they've actually perfectly calculated this. Because if, they, if they're going to go with the whole four chapters pre-volume again, then we're going to get four chapters, uh, obviously, this year. And then, and then, and then, from the start of next year, we're going into volume twenty-two with four chapters, four chapters, and we're going to pretty much get three volumes every year with twelve chapters. So, what I mean by this is like uh, the last volume for each volume would end on a perfect way. So, the last volume for twenty twenty-one would be December, and then again, same like the last volume for the next volume at the end of of the year of twenty twenty-four would be December. So, yeah, uh, they're keeping it very consistent, and I do think they're going to end it with. With 30 volumes because it would actually be a perfect 100, 120 chapters. Like, yeah, like I think I think that is their goal at this point. Like they 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 
they must have calculated this perfectly in terms of okay when when can we start this when can we bring it back when can we perfectly and i feel like yeah they they did this deliberately because if it ends with 30 volumes then literally the very end of 2026 december 2026 would be the final chapter of boruto and it would end with chapter 120 if they are very serious about ending this with uh 120 volumes like yeah yeah like yeah i think i think that is the case which means that when the manga comes back we'll most likely get in one new arc that's going to consist of a volume i guess sort of sort of like the uh Mijini gang uh arc that we got or maybe two volumes and then the final eight volumes or nine volumes will be the entire final arc and we're just going to go straight into it which makes a lot of sense if they do that but this also presents a problem regarding the anime see the anime is meant to come back in october okay and when it comes back in october there's not going to be a lot of chapters for it left to adapt at that point, okay? Like, when, when the manga comes out in, 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 in August, there'll be what? August, September. So you'll have three new chapters versus the remaining chapters that you have left to adapt. I mean, how many how many chapters does, does Boruto have left to adapt, technically speaking? I mean, let's see. Let's see if we can figure this out. Um, so, the final, I believe the final chapter that the anime adapted uh, was chapter 67, and that was volume 17. So it's got volume 18, volume 19 and volume 20 left to adapt. That is, you know, from chapters 68 to chapters 80. That's basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 chapters left to adapt. And that properly equals about 13 episodes. And then uh, there's there's only there's only a period. I think there's a period between there's a period I believe between volumes 18 and 19 where they could do anime canon episodes, which is where before Ida and Damon and Amado arrive in the village, there could be a little gap there where they could do some new episodes in that. Not a lot, obviously. I imagine they're not going to do that. They're not going to do like 10 episodes. I imagine we'll just get a few episodes, and then they'll continue again. And then they're just going to keep on going until they finish this up. At which point, I mean, how long would this take? I mean, I imagine this would be the beginning of, of, of 2024. Like, uh, if the anime does return in October, I imagine part one would end in twenty early 2024. Around January or February, most likely. Depending on how they want to drag these chapters out. Uh, January is my best bet, I think. Like... January or January or February definitely because if they are going to do 13 episodes pre episode that's mostly the bet especially if they're going to add some stuff in between I think that's when it's going to end part one of the anime but then they can't just jump into part two that's the problem they can't just jump into part two because there's not enough there won't be enough material there for them to adapt to go straight into part two the, if when the manga comes back we're going to be jumping into the time skip you understand there's not going to be anything I imagine in between explaining what happened which is where the anime, I imagine, is going to be taking a lot of liberties. Which is going to be a case of, they're going to fill the gaps between part 1 and part 2. We're most likely going to see what happened straight after Boruto and Sasuke left the village. And we're going to see some new storylines, anime canon episodes detailing that. Because we need to see the reaction to the world. We need to see what everyone's feeling. We need to see the side... Because the side characters don't exist in the manga. So when, in the anime, they need to develop that. They need to show us these characters who have been friends of Boruto or, or Kowa and see Kowaki and seeing how they uh, react to this news. We have to see Himawari's reaction to this after her dads and mother supposedly were killed. We have to see the other villagers reacting to this. We have to see, I imagine Kakashi is going to come back and take over the role as the present day Hokage since Naruto has gone. We need to see that. We need to see him come in and take over the position in the end. Because I don't think the manga is going to explain this. The manga is just going to go quickly through this. Like, oh yeah, Kakashi's the Hokage. This has happened. This has happened. And that's it. It's not, not going to go into a big detail. What's Orochimaru's thoughts on this? Uh, uh, how Sora are going to be dealing with explaining this to all the other characters? There's going to be a whole big massive gap that the, the manga is not going to explain. There's going to be a bunch of characters whose reactions we are not going to see to this. And the anime has to provide for that. It has to make sense of this and actually lead into the timescape 
in a, in a more natural way instead of just like, okay, we're ending it here. That's it. Done. Straight into part two. Like, unless, unless the anime comes back and they adapt these chapters and then it ends and it goes on a high hiatus again, which is weird if they did that. Like, I, I don't, I don't, I really don't understand what they did, why they did this in the first place. It's very confusing. They decided to end the anime on that point. Like, like, why didn't they just continue on adapting all the chapters and then, and then just end it at the same, t like, at, at that certain point as well, and then go on a break? I don't, I don't get why, why they ended it there. Like, it's so weird. For, for the animes part one to end there and then they'll begin part two and then like and then have another time skip like no i don't think that's gonna happen i think we're gradually gonna lead into the time skip like i think we're gonna see that journey and i think that a majority of that for a good year a good year i'm gonna say this right now for a good one year or two it's gonna be anime canon episodes people thinking like oh we're gonna get canon man it's like no they're not going to do that. Think about it. The manga comes back in August. By the time the anime comes back, there'll only be three chapters of, of the time skip of part two to adapt. When the anime finishes, at best, there's five. And if that is an arc by itself, maybe they could adapt that and then do another anime canon in between. But, but they they still have to explain what happens during that period between part one and part two. They have to. They can't just leave it hanging like that and jump straight. No, because there's not enough material there. Do you understand? They go straight into the manga canon. They'll finish it in five, five, whatever episodes. If that is the case. If that is how short the next arc is going to be. And then they're going to go into anime canon, uh, anime canon again. And then they have to wait anyway for, for two years or uh, that... For, for whatever arc there is to end. And if it is the final arc. If it is the final arc. It's not going to end until the end of 2027. Which means we won't see manga canon material until 2027. Okay. Which means everything from the majority of 2024 to 2025 to 2026 is going to be anime canon. That's a hundred. That's about 150 episodes at least. Of, of anime canon it's not gonna i don't think it's gonna work properly like there has to be a gap where they can slow it down and be like okay we can do the anime we can do the manga stuff here now and then like it, it's crazy it's crazy that they would bring the anime back and then that's what they have to go through no one's gonna be satisfied no one's gonna be happy about it that, that's the simple truth no one's gonna be happy about this like uh, a lot more people are gonna be angry and crying about this like that's just a fact that's what that's what's gonna happen like and it's crazy a lot more people don't realize this like like oh yeah i can't wait for the anime to come back like i like the anime i do but there's a lot of anime canon material that that didn't need to exist i think or some of it could have been shortened uh, and yeah this is just going to be a big problem when it comes back like it's not a good thing it's really not a good thing it should have remained on high tiers until a certain point where it could have been where they could have brought back and be like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna start adapting these and add on you or maybe they're gonna make it seasonal. Maybe that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna be like, okay, we're gonna come back, but we're gonna do like 20, 20, 20 25 episodes a year. Like uh, it's gonna be a mix of manga canon, it's gonna be a mix of anime canon. And that way we got precise in and tight storylines that make sense. So like when 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 the when the anime comes back we, we get the manga canon material that remains, and then we get this new anime canon that sort of details what goes next, and then it goes on a break for a year, and then it comes back the next year after that, where there's enough manga material, and then they adapt that, and then again, we get a mix of anime canon, so half and half, maybe that's what they're gonna do, I don't know, but uh, it coming back and just going full on with another 150 episodes is not a good thing, I'm gonna say that now, that's bad, that's very bad, and it's gonna leave the anime hated more than it already is, sadly, like... I don't think that's a good idea. I really don't. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Anyway, guys. Those are my thoughts. I uh, hope you liked it. Remember to like and subscribe as always. Uh, and I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.